Hello all. In this video, let us have an introduction to algorithms. So, what is an algorithm? An algorithm is a well-defined computational procedure that takes a set of values as input and transforms them into the desired output. For example, if we have some numbers as an input and we are expecting these numbers in a sorted order as output, so that is our goal. And to achieve this goal, we need to follow some set of procedures and this procedure is called an algorithm. An algorithm may be correct and it may also be incorrect and the algorithm is said to be correct if it produces the desired output on an every input instance. That is, in this case, if we give any set of numbers, it will be sorted correctly. And if it produces undesired output on any input instance, it is said to be an incorrect algorithm. So, the algorithm should produce the desired output on every input instance. We can write the algorithm in simple English as step-by-step -step instructions or using a computer program and also there can be more than one algorithm to solve the same problem. But what is important here is that it efficiently solves the problem. For example, here we have an algorithm which takes one year time and utilizes 100GB of memory. And there is another algorithm which takes one month time and utilizes 1GB of memory. And there is another algorithm which takes one day time and utilizing one MB of memory. And another one takes one second time and utilizes 100 KB of memory. Although all four algorithms have produced the desired output, the last one gives an efficient solution in terms of time and memory usage. So in this case, the fourth one is said to be an efficient algorithm. This example will give you a better understanding of why efficiency in the algorithm is very important. So in our day-to-day -day life, we all use Google search engine and it takes our query as input and its efficient algorithm produces useful links as an output in just milliseconds. But imagine if the searching algorithm is inefficient, but what if the searching algorithm is inefficient here? then it will use a lot of memory to eat scratch query which caused a lot of google and you will also get the search results in a very very long time so will you use this kind of an application definitely not right so it is important to write the correct algorithm but it is even more important to write it more efficiently so i hope you understood the need for algorithm and why it should be efficient so that's all and in the next video we will learn how to write and analyze the algorithm. For more such information, subscribe our YouTube channel and follow Facebook.